So we're going to try to draw this loop structure. When you took 2a, you count the electrons. And we'll do that, uh, but you're going to stop doing that eventually. So you're going to learn to draw Lewis without drawing, without counting the valence electrons. But for fun, let's count the valence electrons just to start off with. So you can see the old way, count the valence electrons. There's six carbons in column six, and there's six hydrogens in column one. So that's uh, six times seven, or 42, valence electrons. Uh, I told you in the question, it's a ring. It's a ring right there. So we know we've got six carbons and a sort of stop sign, hexagon looking shape. Uh, so let's draw all the bonds in. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So, so far I've got twelve of my 42. I want to also put in my hydrogens. Hydrogens all uh, in OCHEM, for the most part, what you're going to see, they all make single bonds just like before, what you've seen before. So we're going to have them on the outside of the ring and draw single bonds to those. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Uh, that makes a total of 24 of the 42. So we're getting closer to the end. Oh wait, isn't carbon in column 4? That's in column 4. Y'all tricked me. I was like, 42, that's a big number. Okay, 30. There we go. Okay, so we're up 24 of 30, not 42. Okay, here we go. So now there's a couple more to put on. Where am I going to put them? Well, my carbons don't have an octet. So let's put those on the carbons. Uh, so I'm 24, 26. I've got two more, 28 and 30. You'll notice when I do that, I had to pick three of the six. You could just pick those carbons randomly. But you'll notice that won't fix the octet of the other three. So to fix the octet, whenever you need to fix an octet, what I do is make multiple bonds. Okay, so you go from single bonds to like doubles and triples. So what I'm going to do uh, is scratch this off and make a double bond. Scratch this off and make a double bond. And then scratch this off and make a double bond. Now notice everything has an octet, so we're happy with the structure. Also notice I didn't do the following. I, I wouldn't have done something like this. Why would I not do that? Putting the bonds together. Right, it breaks the octet on the carbons over here and it's an incomplete octet on the carbons for the, on the left hand side. So you wouldn't put the bonds together, that's why they're alternating. And what we learn from the spectroscopy, this is called conjugated. When you have a double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond, alternating, that's called a conjugated system. Okay. Uh, so I've got this, let me redraw it a little nicer.
So we've got 12 sigma 3 pi in our picture. There's also a resonance structure of this. Oh, slightly ugly, but here it is. If you, whenever you can move bonds around, that's called a resonance structure. You denote it by this double-headed arrow. Like that. This <laughs> should be two carbons with a double bond. Drew a little close. <clears throat> What's the hybridization of every carbon? Every carbon is sp2. So what's the shape? Trigonal planar. Every carbon is trigonal planar. So this molecule is flat because trigonal planar is flat. Uh, and so the bond angles are 120 degrees. One more thing. Whenever you're able to move bonds, these are called resonance structures. Uh, and this is a concept called delocalization. Let me explain that if you haven't seen that term before. Delocalization means that the electrons are not in one place, aka they're not localized. They're delocalized, meaning they are moving around. And you can see whenever there's a resonance structure, the second bond of the double bond moves around can move around to different places. So those electrons are what's called delocalized. The interesting thing about delocalization, whenever that occurs, it is increased, has increased stability. So this is a very stable molecule for various reasons, but for one reason is that the electrons are delocalized. And anything with a resonance structure would have delocalized electrons. So if you see a, a resonance structure, there it's delocalized. 